but uh yeah now that they're doing all this funky shit to cannabis it's getting legalized So, I, I find it interesting that when something is the least harmful, that's when there's all this propaganda surrounding it, warning people about it, saying it's super dangerous. But now you have all these studies coming out talking about, you know, how beneficial marijuana is. Yeah, real marijuana, not, not the shit that they're selling. But, you know, people are going to do what they want. And if you want to get high, you're going to get high. If you want... to... sober up, you'll figure out a way to do that. I mean, I had drunk people passing out in my bed. Okay? Women, mind you, not men. Um... But, like, I don't buy this stuff about, oh, well, temptation, temptation. Like, fuck that shit. But there's a will, there's a way. If you don't have a strong will, you're going to give in to whatever thing you say you're trying to stay away from. And, and you can keep blaming the world. You can keep blaming your friends. You can keep blaming the advertisements. You can keep blaming um, the television or whatever. It's like, as much as I blame the TV and technology and all that shit, it's, it's still our responsibility, you know? And the more you raise that consciousness, the less you can rationalize. The less you can keep making excuses and saying, oh no, they made me do it. They made me do it. It's not fair. It's not fair. Don't even think, motherfucker. that word interchangeably. Have you noticed that? Sometimes if it's, it's a term of endearment. Other times it's a curse word. Most of the time it's a curse word. Get the fuck away from this person. Well that you know, in all fairness to them, that particular entryway is really, really dangerous. I'm gonna show you what we're talking about. You see that? That truck was like coming from that direction right there, the one I'm pointing at. And I was coming in that way from the street. It's only a matter of time before a head-on collision happens right there. But luckily, I was paying attention, okay? So I'm not a bad driver all the time, just most of the time. But, uh... Anyway. Yeah, raising that consciousness means that you can't keep blaming other people for everything. And I, I know that it's super easy to do, which is why everyone does it, but it doesn't get you anywhere. You know, that blame game, is never gonna make you win. You know, you're not gonna gain any extra life by doing that. And, uh, I wish that more people were cognizant of that. I mean, I wish that I'd been cognizant of that early on in my life. And I feel like I probably wouldn't have made as many mistakes as I made if I wasn't just blaming my dad or blaming the world and...
when I was uh, liberal, I'm not blaming liberals, by the way. <laughs> but when I was when I was liberal, like I was always really hateful towards Republicans. And so, like, I understand the way that they are because I was that way. And I really can't tell the difference between, like, political people. Like, they all sound the same. They definitely talk the same, you know? It, it's just hateful, judgmental, and, and they're not even getting their judgments right. That's what's so amusing about it. my shirt it's under the camcorder this is what I use to prop you up on my dashboard you know if, if you blame other people for shit not only do you not have to take any responsibility for your part in the situation and don't get me wrong I'm, I know that there are situations that you know it really is like somebody else's fault entirely um but like if you blame the other person then like you're probably more likely to like put yourself in the same situation in the future you know and they'll say that's victim blaming um I don't think that's victim blaming. I think that that's victim shaming and victim disclaiming, actually. Um, I would rather victim disclaim, <laughs> you know? Because it's up to you. You know, you decide if you're a victim. Like other people can do shit to you that's not right. But if you have the right attitude about it, you won't see yourself as a victim. And I don't necessarily think, oh, you're a victor or whatever the fuck. I don't know why it has to be like that. Can't things just be things without having to, like, politicize them and make people take sides against each other? That's the world I want to live in. And because that's the world I want to live in, I try to cultivate that world through my actions. You know? And if I can't do that, I have failed. And so anytime that something goes awry, I'm always asking myself, what did I do? What did I do? What could I do differently? And I used to just blame myself for a lot of stuff and just beat myself up. I don't do that anymore. Thank God. But I'm glad that I did that, though. I'm, gl I'm glad that I did that instead of the alternative. Which, like I said, doesn't seem to get any, anybody anywhere. But they don't seem to notice, you know? They don't seem to notice that they're not going anywhere. They're in the same place that they were before. So either they're totally apathetic about their life, or they're totally apathetic about their life. <laughs> there are multiple ways to be apathetic. But, you know, if I was truly apathetic, I wouldn't do this. I wouldn't believe in God. I wouldn't go to church. I wouldn't try harder. You know? I wouldn't drink this keeper. But, uh, bye, Thelonious. I just want you to see this beautiful vehicle again. If you need any body work done and you are in the Tennessee Tri-State area, I would highly recommend Colorcraft Auto. Colorcraft, C-O-L-O-R-K-R-A-F-T, okay? Josh Lemon is the motherfucker that owns this amazing shop. So, yes. Motherfucker as in 
awesome guy, okay? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's the only promotion you're going to get. <laughs>